Welcome back. Two bodies have been found in Connorsville in just over three weeks, both under suspicious circumstances. Now, city officials are addressing growing safety concerns in that small community. And neighbors today told me they are feeling a bit uneasy. I spoke with the police about how the public can help with these investigations. In a community that normally sees very little crime, two people winding up dead in a matter of weeks has come as quite the shock. And it gives you a real eerie feeling. It started when 53-year-old Thomas Combs was found shot to death in Dale Cemetery on August 17th. Then, this past Saturday, police found 47-year-old Joshua Durham dead between two homes across the street from a different cemetery. Police haven't said how he died, but several neighbors told us they heard gunshots the night before. One bullet ended up slicing through the gutter of a nearby home. It's not out of the question until we can rule it out 100%, but at this point, we have no evidence that we would connect these two incidents together. While they may not be connected, Sergeant Clint Brown with Connorsville PD says it is unusual, but he wants to assure Connorsville residents that they're working to get those responsible off the streets. So we are going to walk down every avenue and through every door that we need to uh, to to find resolution to this case. Still, that assurance isn't necessarily enough to put residents like Norma Jackson at ease. It's very sad that you you don't feel safe in your own home. Now, when I'm out here, I'm always looking. So far, no arrests have been made in either case. Sergeant Brown says anybody who knows anything about the two victims should give police a call. If they had an issue with somebody, um, if you knew them at all, if had talked to them recently, um, that information could be helpful. Now, Connorsville detectives are handling this most recent case. However, Indiana State Police detectives are looking into the case from August. We're going to have contact information for both those agencies over on our website.